Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Devyanshu on behalf of Petroleum from Scratch. We are going to start a new series of videos, uh, which will be going to deal with uh, our domain knowledge. We are back with petroleum engineering, petroleum engineering topics. Just that I must add a new term ahead of it, which will be applied. Okay, so there will be, this is, yes, of course, given that it's a petroleum engineering playlist, it will be uh, pretty similar to the tutorials that you must have already seen, or I mean, if you are a student in the first or second year, you want to get ahead in terms of what can you expect in your college curriculum, this is a good playlist that you, you can follow. Uh, there are a lot of great playlists on YouTube itself, but the differences in this playlist are going to be these. The first difference is the tutors are going to be very <laughs> young. So this is funny, of course, but this is uh, this can be helpful to the students in the fact that the people who will be talking in these playlists in in these sessions they are uh, they have recently you know they have seen what you are experiencing. So the explanations will be pretty uh, you know layman. The explanations will be pretty layman's terms and it will be from scratch as always from scratch and it will be in simple terms and sometimes we will be using very very weird and stupid uh, stupid examples to explain the concepts so it won't be that hi-fi uh, that your uh, senior professors and you know the the veterans that teach you like so that will be it can be a good thing for a lot of people, but if you are someone who are pretty ahead in the in the field already and you are a professional, uh, then please, please uh, don't hate us for that. This is purely aimed to help the students uh, in the concepts, right? The second thing is, which is a very, very important thing, is the term, uh, if I may color this, if the term applied, applied, how is it applied? I mean, let's talk about it now. Why do I call it applied? Do I call it to make it sound like a clickbait? Of course not. Uh, that's not something that we normally do at Petroleum from scratch. It is applied because the topics that we will be talking about, if we realize that there is some topic that needs, uh, you know, that needs solu solution, uh, an elaborate solution, we will try to solve them in things like Excel, we may try to solve them in my personal favorite. We can try to solve it in Python. We can try to solve it in Python, right? So, and other tools, right? If we feel like there are other tools that can help you guys, we can use Power BI and so on and so forth, right? So for example, there can be in reservoir engineering, there can be a topic like uh, uh, capillary pressure, right? And if in case we are referring to Tariq Ahmed as the book, there are problems in, in Tariq Ahmed that can be solved using Python, right? Similarly, if there is, uh, let's say, if there is uh, uh, an example in, uh, let me recall, let's let's say if we are referring to LP Dake and we are talking about well testing, we are talking about material balance, all these things can be solved in either Excel or Python, right? So basically, that's where the term applied comes from. And that's where this playlist will be very different to the other playlists that you must have seen. Even if the problem statements are very simple, we will try to avoid the use of our very own Casio calculators. We'll try to avoid the use of this thing, but we will try to focus on these things so that you are targeting two things at the same time. You are targeting your concepts as well as you are also trying to get better in, in uh, problem solving tools like Excel and Python so that at the end of the courses or at the end of the videos, uh, even if you don't understand the concepts, you do understand Python as a language or Excel as a tool, right? So uh, we will be covering basically, uh, the aim is to start with uh, reservoir engineering. The aim is to start with Reservoir engineering for now, but as we go on, uh, as we go on and as we get more and more time, we can spend more time on uh, drilling engineering, uh, production engineering, and so on.
right? So I hope uh, we fulfill the promise that we are trying to keep up with this set of videos for you guys. Uh, so let's see uh, how, how well we go. So see you in the next video where we'll be starting about uh, reservoir engineering from rock properties. Thanks a lot.